A roadmap to the future as the Newtown community moves ahead following the tragedy at Sandy Hook. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Keith Coons. Since the Newtown tragedy occurred last month, millions of dollars have been donated to help in the recovery effort. But what is the best use for that money? As we just heard in the live news conference right here on News 8, former Senator Joe Lieberman will have a key role in how the Sandy Hook Foundation moves ahead. News 8's Ken Pierce live in Newtown this noon with more. Ken? And Keith, over the past month and a few days, an astonishing eight and a half million dollars has flowed into Newtown from people all over the world wanting to donate and help out in some way. And the question is, how is that money going to be spent? Well, Newtown now has some high profile help in trying to figure that out. Part of the transition team is going to be Joe Lieberman. He just um, ended 24 years uh, in the U.S. The Senate, and he is going to be part of this transition team, basically deciding who is going to get to decide where that eight and a half million dollars um, should go, who gets that money in the long term. It's sitting uh, in a fund that's part of the United Way of Western Connecticut right now. The head of that group, Kim Morgan, spoke at this press conference that ended just a few minutes ago, and she's the one who actually reached out to Senator Lieberman, and Senator Lieberman said he just couldn't say no to such a request. When I was called by uh, Kim Morgan and asked if I would consider taking on a role as an advisor, frankly, before I even understood uh, what that would uh, mean, uh, I not only felt honored uh, by the request, but I felt a sense of duty uh, to say that I would do um, whatever I could. Now, Senator Lieberman says, of course, there will be plenty of input from the families of the victims of Sandy Hook Elementary. He says this is uh, not going to be a fund that's going to take on, head on at least, the question of gun control. It's not going to become a lobbying group or anything like that. And uh, the folks in Newtown say this is not going to be a straight compensation fund for the victim's family. In other words, that $8.5 million isn't going to be just simply divided up amongst the families of victims. Instead, they're going to study every way that it can be used, the best possible way to help victims' families, to help first responders who had to be there on that awful day, things like that. And it could take weeks or maybe even months before the new team is in place. It's really going to make all those decisions. So just a first step, but they've got some very high-profile help in figuring this all out in Senator Lieberman. We're live in Newtown. I'm Kent Pierce, News 8.